Somebody tries to shoot me in the back, I defend myself. You defend yourself almost too well, mister. They're both dead as doornails. They came in the window. It wasn't to wish me pleasant dreams. Okay, okay, self-defense, I guess. But in this town, we don't like violence. I'm asking you to get out of town as quickly as possible. Good morning, Bill. How many glasses have you got in the house? A couple. Can we dirty them? I want to have a little talk with you. What time do you get off work? Called in sick. Why? Damn, what do you have? Depression. <laughs> Whoa, you're a millennial too? Well, I need help with blah 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 in like an hour. I'll send you my location. You there? Yeah. Well, just call me when you get here and try to keep busy in the meantime. Oh, hey, sorry, am I being too loud? What? Uh, no. Uh, not at all. So sounds good. Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, do you play? No. Uh, I mean, I, I, I used to when I was younger, but I... Hey, is that yours? Huh? Oh. No, I, I don't really like rats. <laughs> oh. I saw a flyer for a lost dog in the lobby. Our lobby? So, yeah. If you could just give me a call back to this number, that'd be great. Person. So, you're not gonna shoot me? Nope. I was waiting for you to shoot me first. I want to die. Where are we? Just wait here. Yeah, yeah, I called you earlier. Yeah, I have him right here. Oh. Sorry, her. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Got it. See you then.
What's going on? Just come. And don't say anything. And leave the rat. This is Caleb. He's here for a second opinion. Nice to meet you, Caleb. Oh, who's this little guy? This is guard dog, Smeagol. <sighs> You're kidding. Top row is 70. Each row underneath that's an extra 30. <laughs> Jeez. Is, is this what you need me for? Art is subjective. But in our case, two subjective opinions form one consensus, which is the closest thing we're going to get to objectivity. You brought me here to look at art out of some dude's trunk. Look, I just need to pick out something for my mom who, like you, isn't well versed in abstract taste. So just tell me which one of these you'd pick out to decorate your walls with. Nothing that costs 70 bucks. Uh, only the top row is 70. Each row underneath is extra 30. Prices are non-negotiable. <laughs> I thought you were bringing me here to do some kind of drug deal. Hey, I don't do none of that no more, man. Look, nobody's trying to buy drugs from you. Caleb is just going through some stuff. He's a little irritable right now. What kind of stuff? No, that has nothing he to do with it. He broke up with his girlfriend. I mean, ex-girlfriend. Damn, man, I, I'm sorry. Hey, don't let me get to you. I'm not... Who even are you? What kind of person sells paintings out of the trunk of their car? Are they even yours? Just trying to make a living. Why be so rude to the guy for? He just said he's just trying to make a living. You tracked me out of bed for this. Just buy your mom a gift card like everyone else. <sighs> Caleb. So you said he's a non-negotiable? Yeah. Okay. I'll be honest, I was a bit sketched about the guy at first, but I think my mom will like this. It really captures some of her basic qualities. My only concern though is, she won't pick up on it. What do you see? I see $130 going up in flames. Subjective experiences, Caleb. To some people, this is better than a gift card of the same price. I guess. You can't just dismiss something simply because you don't understand it. To you, this might just seem like some random splatter, but to five different people, this can be five different interpretations of how the artist perfectly captures what they're going through. And the artist might just say that they're all wrong. Yeah, but that's the thing about art. Help, may maybe even life. It's bogus to think one person can assume they have all the right answers, and really, the person that's wrong is the person that refuses to even look. Wow. Where'd you read that one? You can say I'm full of it if you want, as long as you tell me if you see anything. Maybe I'm just pretentious. Maybe there's nothing to this. You are pretentious. And? What? Um, is this your dog? Honey, I already have a bitch in my home. I don't need another one. Didn't you call me earlier? I thought you had my dog. You didn't. Okay. Wait. Are you the guy playing his guitar so freaking loud? Uh, no. No, I I'm not. Someone should tell me to keep it quiet. I know, right? And what about that new couple across the hall? Whatever anybody does in his house, that's their business. But I'm not okay with it. Millennials.
Turn around. Defend yourself. first. 